We were, I went to Miami for spring break and we were driving back from Miami to South Bend, Indiana, which is like 24 hours or so. So we were driving back and um, I had a pain in my chest. So, you know, it's a long drive. It's like Saturday, we're trying to get back by Sunday before school starts on Monday. And I just, you know, kind of like ignored it for a while, but it didn't get any better. So I just took some pain medication and it still didn't get better. So I just decided, you know, like, let me just stick it out. Gotta get back to school. Um, I had an exam that week. So I was just trying to like, just get back to school and get it together. So uh, I just stuck it out, went back to, to school. And then I decided to go to the hospital when I got there. So I went to the hospital, they did a bunch of tests and they said that I had pneumonia because um, in, your, in the x-ray, pneumonia is just like a big blob so um, they said I had pneumonia and they gave me some antibiotics and just went about my business, got better, pain went away. And uh, a couple months later I graduated, came home and I had a pain in my side. And I thought that I had cracked like some ribs, which I wouldn't know how I did that, but that's what I thought. I thought I cracked some ribs. And so I went to the ER, they did some blood tests and it looked kind of weird. I don't know exactly what it was that looked weird, but they said it looked weird. and. I, uh, they decided to do a CAT scan and an x-ray. So they showed me the x-ray first and I told them, you know, I had pneumonia in March when I came back from spring break. So maybe that's what it was showing up on the x-ray again, since it looked exactly the same, the, just the big blob. And he said, well, okay, we're still gonna do the CAT scan. So I did the CAT scan and they told me that I had enlarged lymph nodes and that could mean a bunch of things, but because of my age, um, he thought it was cancer. So I was really confused because I was like, what do you mean cancer? Like, I thought I cracked a rib, my side hurts, what's going on? Like, you're not helping me right now, my side is hurting, that's what I'm here for. I was more concerned about that than really what he was talking about. But um, luckily, he was a really proactive doctor and he, um, he jumped right to the worst that it could be. So I kind of had prepared myself for the worst. Um, and after that, I just went through a, bus a bunch of different tests and he was right, it was indeed Hodgkin's lymphoma which is cancer. I decided to start a website called IHaveAPurpose.org. Um, initially, you know, I, I wanted to share my story um, because I feel like I have like kind of a broad network of people from like just being in the Nigerian community here in Dallas and going to school so far away. I realized, you know, I could reach out to a lot of people through this website. And I wanted to share my story because I felt like it was important to know that you're like, the hardest part for me right now is realizing that I'm not in control. Cause I'm, I always like to be in control of myself, in control of everything that's happening to me. Um, I pretty much, I feel like I have it together. You know, I'm not really like crazy kid that's been, you know, misguided or anything like that. I feel like I pretty much have it together. So this, this situation has showed me that God is in control. And I felt like I needed to share that with other people. And I needed to, you know, I could use this avenue to help other people realize that you know, you have these experiences in life that you may not be able to control, but, you know, learning about yourself, learning about other people, learning about God can help you realize your purpose in life. And um, I felt like my purpose was to help other people understand their purpose and understand that they have value, whether or not they believe it or not. So, um, yeah, hopefully through this website, I think it's, it's working a little bit, but hopefully this website, I can help other people understand what their purpose is and what they can do in their life, regardless of their circumstances or their um, situations. On November 2nd, there will be a fundraiser benefiting I Have a Purpose at Sisu Uptown from 12 to 4. For more information about the brunch, visit apurposefilledbrunch.eventbrite.com. And for more information about I Have a Purpose, go to ihaveapurpose.org. My name is Chanello and I have a purpose.